Tracking that forecast, I'm First Alert 25 meteorologist Jordan Evans, and as we take a look at radar across the state, it's pretty quiet for most of us. Actually, the entire state, not a single drop to track for you this morning. Still near quality alert for the Houston metros. There's going to see some heightened ozone levels today, and if you have sensitive respiratory conditions such as asthma or COPD, limit your time outside as you may have difficulty breathing if you're traveling to the city later this afternoon. But for Central Texas, air quality is looking pretty good. Temperatures right now across the entire state, 74 for Waco, 72 for Bryan College Station, 73 for Colleen, lots of 70s on the map. It looks like Midland just adjusted down to 70, but the bigger contrast here is on the dew point map. As we can see, pretty much a tale of uh, two different climates here. Lots of humid conditions here on the coastline and then drier air out to the west, of course, where the desert portions of the state are. And that's going to continue to be the case through the rest of the week as the humidity is back and it is here to stay. Check out, check out these dew points. They will stay in the 60s. Later this afternoon, that's going to help it feel just a little bit more muggy outside, but temperatures back into the 90s once again. 80s get going here later this morning, and then we'll fall off just a little bit back into the 80s once the sun goes down. But again, because the humidity sticks around, we'll go back into the sticky category, but not too uncomfortable as we get into that afternoon forecast. High temperatures this afternoon, however, back into the 90s. 95 for Bryan College Station, 92 for Marlin, 93 for Waco and Temple. 92 for Colleen, and as we talk high pressure, that's what's driving all this heat, and that's going to stay in place too. We talked about this upper level low yesterday. It continues to park itself over the southeast. They're going to get several inches of rain there along the coastline until it finally moves out going into the weekend. But for us, high pressure, even by the weekend, still staying over Texas. So we're going to keep these temperatures in the 90s. The storm chances are going to stay out for the rest of the week. 94 for your Wednesday, 95 for your Thursday partly cloudy skies, then the humidity starts to come back going into your Friday and Saturday. So I think, Joe, Sunday, we can might start to feel like triple digits a little bit here in central Texas. But the good news is storm chances, they're back. This would be good because we're now 19 days without any rain here.